I bought like three posters off of Etsy from people <laughs> who created, um, you know, fan posters and stuff. Like, I think those are the most exciting things to me because it's just, it feels like so special that people care that much to, you know, to make some art is just cool. <laughs> We scavenged. We stopped. After they rescued us, I lost my purpose. I can't imagine what you guys went through out there. I read it and I just felt like every single character was so well defined. And it wasn't like stereotypes or even like archetypes. It was it was real people and the the women that I was reading on the page felt like humans to me. They felt like friends. They felt like people I knew. And the character of Shauna, I just was like, oh, I feel like this could go in a million different directions. Little did I know how many directions it was going to go in. But it just it just felt like such an opportunity and the writing was so good. I'm a real snob about writing. And it was just so good. Uh, yeah, so I hear everything about this story from the hair and makeup trailer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they seem to know before anybody what's going on. So I get a lot of my information from them. Uh, I, I, I I find out about it as I read the scripts. I, I don't ask too many questions um, because I don't know if they ever are able to give me a straight answer, you know? Like they literally told me the dog was just gonna run away. So I don't, I can't trust anybody on this show. So I read about it in the scripts. I was surprised by episode nine and I wondered how the cast of people in the wilderness felt when they read that script <laughs> with the like crazy, uh, everyone on mushrooms, losing their minds, chasing Travis, making out. I, <laughs> when I read that, I just was like, are they okay? Are, are they feeling okay about it? But they're so brave, these actors. They're yeah. up for anything. Yeah. But how did you guys feel when you read that? I'm trying to remember now. I think I think by then we knew that like episode nine was was going to be full on. Like I can't. It might have been Jamie or somebody gave us a heads up. It was like guys, so episode episode nine is crazy. <laughs> um, and then when we got it, we were like, oh, it's crazy, crazy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we we'd been we'd been filming in the wilderness with each other for like five months by then almost six maybe nearly mm -hmm. so it was it was a little bit surprising but then also a little bit like all right let's go like yeah. this is where we're at we know each other pretty well let's do it <laughs> yeah it was there was a lot of surprising elements but also like yeah i think we all knew like okay things especially towards the end we're gonna get as wild as possible and you know i I think though the most shocking part to me was when I first found out about Liv, like what was going to be happening to oh, right. Anne with. Oh yeah, that was really shocking too. I, yeah. yeah, that was I mean, really knew, shocking to read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we knew a little bit beforehand that something was going to happen because they had to get you in prosthetics. Oh um, yeah, <laughs> but so, I didn't know what. When Tony, when you were talking about finding things out from the hair and makeup trailer, that made me laugh because I didn't. I didn't know what was going to happen to Van, but um, someone in the hair and makeup team was like, so we'll need to see you about the wolf attack, right? And yes. I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. so true. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm so and curious. then also, Christina, okay. I'm sorry. I just wanted to point out when Christina, with the whole Caligula, um, that moment where she's like, goes crazy. I love that. It was one of my favorite moments of the entire season when she's on Coke and she's just trying to save her baby. <laughs> that was a, a really great. He's had enough. Yeah. <laughs> had it. <laughs> Don't eat that kind. It's poisonous. Like kill you poisonous or like trip your balls off poisonous. What does the person who sent these postcards want? Obviously a threat. Maybe somebody talked. If someone's digging, we are off. From like the end of seven on, uh, it was it was very it was very physically challenging. It was it was intense. I'd never done anything like any of that before. But our our makeup effects teams, like everybody involved in like the creation of those stunts, uh, were so nice and like so attentive and, and really took care of me. So it was like challenging, but um, I I'm 
glad I did it. I got a lot out of it. And also it was just like, all right, like, well, let's go. Like, this is, this is happening. Let's <laughs> dive in the deep end, I guess. We met during our wake fittings for uh, the pilot. <laughs> awesome. Um, but we didn't really talk too much about the character. It was before, it was once we went to series, we were up in Vancouver. We met right before uh, shooting episode two. Mm -hmm. And sort of went over everything and um, different sort of character references we've been given by the EPs and um, just different things like that. Uh, but we didn't really go into detail. And I just, you know, I know that we ended up doing a lot of similar, um, what's it called? My brain is dead. I haven't slept more than two hours. <laughs> similar characteristics. Yes, thank you. Like yeah. <laughs> the glasses thing, like similar yeah. uh, gestures. I don't know. And I just, I wonder if, if um, that isn't really a testament to how strong the writing was because, mm. and, and the strength of, Misty's particular character. It sort of just leads to doing those gestures naturally and stuff. But at the same time, I think that we both really got the brief and, and um, I don't know, feel the same way about her. Yeah. What do yeah. you think? Yeah, yeah, I think it's so interesting watching it, you know, now, because um, there are things that I didn't even realize how similar we were, or, you know, even just certain inflections in the voice or, you know, certain things I just didn't um, know it was going to come together as well as it did. And, um, and our look, like, I'm like, I didn't even realize how much we could really look so much alike. Um, and yeah, it's been really enjoyable to see um, as now like a fan of the show. Show. Uh, and yeah, there's like this sense of like, that is so cool. Like how, how similar we really can uh, play somebody together um, without even, yeah, talking about too much. Like, you know, we really, I mean, <laughs> I feel like we mainly just like talk about life than we were, you know, too much <laughs> about the character. And yet we still, yeah, we're able to collaborate so well. The amazing thing was we had a table read every episode that we would do on Zoom. So we got to see it's one thing to read it and the scripts are very evocative and you really get a good sense but seeing somebody perform in the table read and everyone like did it with such full commitment <laughs> so you really got a sense of like how it was going to play out and for me seeing Sophie uh, do that was the most informative and helpful because you have like a visceral memory of it after you see it. Yeah, and, and you did get to work with Sophie, um, didn't yeah. you? You did some scenes with her. Um, a couple so, of times. A couple of times. I didn't get to work with Jasmine at all, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the table reads were really informative. Um, it was really important for me to see how she was doing the character because you know her she doesn't know her future yet but her past is of course coloring her every day as an adult so um it was really important to connect with that um but yeah i i, I would have loved to have worked with the younger cast but y'all were like an hour away yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we stayed in like a hotel for a week at a time up in the mountain or wherever the heck you were and i don't i don't need to do that i'm 45. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it probably was like fun to visit maybe for like a day you know or two but yeah it definitely was intense out there i know when you look at me you don't see someone that you should be afraid of but you're wrong all of us who don't have confirmed older counterparts would like speculate for fun on behalf of each other but in i never wanted to think about it too seriously because they, they might kill me. Like, I, I don't want to get my hopes <laughs> They've already tried. <laughs> so, so many times. Um, so I never, I never tried to think about it too hard because I didn't, I didn't want to like set myself up for heartbreak. Um, but it's been really fun to see people speculate about it. Yeah, I think for. like fan art has been so cool. I've never had like so much fan art before. And Ooh. I literally have saved everything. I bought like three posters off of Etsy from people who created, um, you know, fan posters and stuff. Like, I think those are the most exciting things to me because it's just, um, it feels like so special that people care that much to, you know, to sit there and yeah, to make some art is just cool. <laughs> There was like a sudden uptick in memes being made out of us. And mm -hmm. like we would be sending them to each other and realized that suddenly there was a lot more of them. <laughs> we sort yeah. of all looked at each other and we were like, I think 
I think people like the show. <laughs> <laughs> people like it. I'm old, so I was told about the memes. <laughs> Once I did, I was like, oh, wow, yeah, there are a lot of these memes. <laughs>